Interesting conversation coming up. A Harvard professor, yes, from Harvard, believes he may have found fragments of alien technology. That professor is Avi Loeb. He says that debris from a meteor that landed in the waters off Papua New Guinea back in 2014 contains material. He's 99% sure it came from another solar system. Is it real or is it nonsense? Joining me now with more about what this means for life beyond the Earth is Adler Planetarium's Director of Astronomy, Geza Juke. And uh, Professor, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Um, first of all, tell us what actually happened. This is from a meteor that fell in the Pacific back in 2014. What do we know about that for real compared with what one of your Harvard uh, colleagues, shall we say, believes it is. Yeah, so this was a, a meteor that came in very fast and very hard, uh, and fast enough, in fact, that it doesn't seem like it could have come from within the solar system. Objects that are orbiting around uh, the sun sort of have limits on how fast they can go. If they're going too fast, then they're not going to stick around. They're going to be so fast that they'll break the bonds of gravity from the sun. So we sort of know how fast meteors can come in if they're from the solar system. And this one was going faster. And so it's quite likely that it came from another solar system. Okay. It doesn't mean that it's alien technology. But look at that, look at that. We're looking right now at the pictures. Those are clearly metallic spheroids from some sort of an alien spacecraft, aren't they? How can you dispute what he's saying there at Harvard? <laughs> okay, so uh, spheres like this, little spheres, are just really common, actually. Uh, first of all, uh, a lot of human processes make them, and they're just scattered all over the, uh, the Earth. But even more importantly, even uh, meteors make these little spheres. Uh, when, uh, in fact, hundreds of tons of these little tiny spherical micrometeorites land on the Earth every day. Basically, you know, small little meteorites or pieces of larger meteorites uh, melt as they go through the atmosphere, and a liquid likes to form a sphere, like a raindrop. And if they're small enough, it's a pretty perfect sphere. Uh, and you know, these have been known for a long time. I'm not quite sure why Ave uh, thinks that this is unique, uh, but so <laughs> this is this is nothing uh, spectacular. Well, I'm sorry, I can be a little bit different. I can tell that they're ball bearings from the engine on that alien spacecraft. There, I mean, seriously, uh, you know what? What? Very though, tiny. <laughs> very <laughs> tiny. What happens though if we discover that these spheroids are made of unobtainium or some other strange substance that's not found on Earth? As I understand, though, we already know it's mainly iron. Isn't that correct? That's right, iron, silicon, mm -hmm. a little bit of trace elements of it, which is exactly what you'd expect from natural processes. If it turns out that it's made of unobtainium, you know, one of them gets analyzed, and then I'll be the first person coming up <laughs> saying, this is amazing, this is wonderful. But, you know, iron, silicon, it's not really exotic. <laughs> no, certainly not. All right, so just to put this in perspective very quickly, what does this actually mean for alien life? Anything at all, or is it just more Avi Loeb hype? Um, what it means is, is that we can actually maybe recover some of this material that comes from another source system. But of course, there's no guarantee that the stuff that he found actually comes from this meteorite. Mm -hmm. In fact, this isn't an issue. Uh, the Adler Planetarium itself, actually, we did an uh, underwater meteorite search uh, back almost five years ago. Uh, there was a meteor that came over the Midwest, uh, exploded over Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan, right. Uh, we mm -hmm. sent out a team composed mostly of teens, actually, uh, who are working as interns with us. And we sent out a sled. We uh, drew the sled that was called Project Aquarius. And lo and behold, we got some of these micrometeorites, too. We don't know that they came from that particular right. uh, meteorite fall, but this process of sort of looking in the ocean, that's not new. We've been doing it right here <laughs> at the Adler uh, for years. So. Well, Professor Juk, we appreciate you sharing your knowledge here and hopefully bringing this uh, literally and figuratively down to earth for us. Thank you for joining us. And if that unobtainium shows up in those spheroids, we're going to call you right back. We will be back with <laughs> more you. of Good